Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. After EA botched upgrades yesterday and messed them up, I want to talk about that and the best way to grind those upgrades right now if you're trying to pack blues. We also want to look forward to some upcoming content that could be coming as soon as maybe tomorrow or Thursday or Friday this week, and that is a highly anticipated Champions League Showdown SBC. There's really not any solid leaks about that right now, but it just makes sense for them to drop an SBC for that UCL final. And we'll talk about why just here in a second. Also, today is Tuesday, so that means the first of two days in a row of the Guaranteed Tots packs. Today, we should see the Liga Portugal Guaranteed Tots SBC, and I think it's going to be really cheap. I'll talk about that in this video. And also, we'll talk continually about the market and look at some cards. Why some cards didn't really move that much yesterday, why there were some good flips. Uh, the Nunez got a price range update. I was able to flip one of those for a really nice profit. Some Joao Felix flips that I had in there as well. We'll take a look at the La Liga Tots cards, how I expect them to move as some of them inched up a little bit, but a lot of the market was unchanged from yesterday um, just because it wasn't really that hype of a day. It was the upgrade packs and that's about it. Of course, with that whole fiasco with EA messing those up, we do have a leak though for a SBC that could be upcoming soon and I would expect to see a player SBC today. So we'll take a look at that in this video. But if you're excited for upgrade packs and packing blues, the counter has gone up one. As you can see, I packed a Muniain. So Fakir and Muniain is who all I've gotten so far with La Liga upgrades. But if you're excited for those, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this UCL showdown, right? Because this is something that we expect to see in the game. And you know, the reason why we expect it is it's not based off of a leak. It's not based off a prediction or what we see on Twitter or anything like that, but just the fact that EA has already posted showdown SBCs for the Europa League final game, which happened last week, and the Conference League final, which happens tomorrow and Wednesday between Feyenoord and Roma, we have had showdown SBCs for both. Remember, remember the DaCosta and Goldson, we have Senezi and Karsdorp, and I think it is almost uh, like certain that they're going to drop a showdown SBC for the Champions League final. It would just make sense. Um, of course, so far, we've had some pretty good SBC players, and there's so many great options that we could have between Real Madrid and Liverpool. And this right here is what a lot of people are looking at and saying this would be the most hype pair of showdown SBCs that we could have for this final game. This is from the boss foot. And once again, I want to mention this to you and just talk about it. And I'm going to take this opportunity to do so. This is not a leak. This is a prediction. All right. I know everybody on Twitter these days sees a graphic like this and they automatically assume that it's a leak. Make sure you read and know who's posting it because a lot of people just blindly believe these as leaks when they're actually not. This is a prediction, but I think this is the best one that I've seen and it would be the most hype for any of the players that they could release bar a couple other players from Real Madrid, like a Ferlin Mendy, you know, something like that would be absolutely insane. But a Luis Diaz versus Rodrigo showdown would be absolutely fantastic. And especially for a lot of people's teams right now in La Liga Tots, a Rodrigo like this, regardless of whether they win or lose, you give, a, you give out a card like this, that would be an item that so many people would love to go get in their squads because we are lacking a few right-sided um, attacking players. We have Canales, but other than that, I think we're a little bit short. We have so many on the left with Ansu Fati and Vinny Jr. and Dan Juma, right? But I think we need that right-sided player, and then Rodrigo would be perfect. And then, of course, for Luis Diaz, so many people would love a Luis Diaz special card for this big game. So this is, again, just a prediction. There's so many other players that this could be. Again, like we mentioned, Ferland Mendy. Some people have talked about Matip. Um, and there's a funny tweet underneath this one, actually, that says, finally a Liverpool showdown card. We've already had Kieta, uh, Curtis Jones, and Origi this year as showdowns. They've all been upgraded as well. So, um, you know, it's kind of funny to see so many Liverpool showdowns in one year. But this is an SBC that's really, really big. Now, when would this get released? Well, if you kind of look at when they released the SBCs for... Senesi and Karsdorp, it was about three to four days ahead of time. And since this game is this weekend um, and they don't usually overlap these sorts of SBCs, Karsdorp and Senesi expire on Wednesday, tomorrow. So I think that either Wednesday or Thursday would be the time where EA could drop a showdown SBC. I really wouldn't think they would want to drop it on Friday with League One Tots being added into the game on Friday. That wouldn't really make sense. So I think either tomorrow or 
or on Thursday would be the most likely time to see a showdown SBC. And again, it's just going to be big hype. And there's going to be a lot of people that go out and do the SBC regardless, just because it is such a big game. It's the Champions League final. So it's going to be exciting regardless. And I hope that EA raised that bar of excitement as well with those hype cards that we have seen there. I think Rodrigo and Diaz would be great if they want to up the ante even more. Go for it, eSports. Just drop a sick showdown SBC that so many of us would get excited for while we're watching the big game this weekend. So that's one thing I wanted to talk to you about because if it's, you know, if you're a Liverpool fan, if you're a Real Madrid fan, then maybe catching up on some of that fodder from doing upgrade packs this week. If you're doing some upgrade packs or if you have some fodder in the club, maybe stack some of that up and hold on to it, knowing that an SBC like that could be coming for uh, b both of those two teams, we would expect it. It's kind of a matter of when, not if, in my opinion. So that's kind of what we have there. We really don't have any leaks though. Again, it's just based off what EA have done, we expect to see that. So let's talk about upgrade packs because yesterday, and even right now as you're in the game, you're like, Nate, why are there two premium La Liga upgrades? And why are there two um, 80 plus player picks? Well, here's the issue. And I'll, I'll even show you the EA tweet. When they released these SBCs yesterday, they released them as non-repeatable, the premium La Liga upgrade and the 80 plus player pick. The first time they were released, they were incorrectly released as un repeatable you could not do them more than once and this is the ea tweet that came after that they said earlier today uh the spcs were incorrectly released as non-repeatable they were updated to be repeatable but could not be done by some players as a result that was me right because i did the spc before ea made it repeatable in like the first it was like 30 minutes where the spc was just sitting there um and then they said as a result of this two new spcs with the same name that are now repeatable and should be visible are in game while the original SBCs have been reverted to non-repeatable. So it's just kind of a really funny situation where for the rest of this week, we are going to see, and if you go into the, the tab here and you're looking for the premium La Liga upgrade or the 80 plus player pick, and it says that it's completed, look for the other one. Cause these two basically are duplicated in here. They shouldn't have any different pack weight. They have the exact same requirements and stuff like that. It's just kind of funny how EA kind of botched that up yesterday. And a lot of us were sitting with cards and are unassigned, ready to go and craft these packs. But you'll open one for you now. Why not? Uh, and we had to wait until I think it was about it was two hours later where EA finally fixed that issue two hours after content. And then we were able to stack up on all these packs. So finally, these packs are out. And I'll be honest with you guys. I'm getting a walkout here, which is nice. I'm going to pack a Suarez, that, which is really good. I needed that. These packs have been awful. They've been so bad. The packway has been really, really terrible. I probably opened like 15 of them with some rinses into player picks. Um, and I only packed one blue yesterday. So honestly, th these have been pretty bad so far. I mean, there is opportunity for good fodder from these. There's a decent amount of high rateds that are in La Liga. It just seems like the pack weight's not very good. So just be careful with that. And I'm going to do a lot of packs throughout the rest of this week because I'm trying to pack as many cards as possible. But it just does not seem that the pack weight's that good right now. Hopefully that changes. And let me know down in the comments if you guys have gotten any sick pulls or if you have like, yo, Nate, I packed an insane card yesterday. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, let me know in the comments because for a lot of people, it was just pretty average. So hopefully that changes today. Also, the La Liga 81 times 7 Where's the 83 plus times five EA Sports? I mean, why are they scared of dropping that since they did it in the Prem? I want that SBC back. I'm not going to lie. The 81 times seven, it was either great or it was terrible. Mine stuck back in my packs. I haven't not opened it yet. Uh, we did pack a couple people blues yesterday from this, but then there were other people that got like 83. So this is going to be available again to do on Wednesday. As you can see, the timer resets then. Um, but I mean, it was cheap. It's going to be easy to do. It's a fun gamble SBC, but it did really not pay out that well at all and since like we said a lot of the content yesterday was just those upgrade packs and literally that was it uh the market you know it was pretty stagnant there were some cards that bounced back up off of rarity i bought two joao felix at about a million coins 1.01 sold them at 1.1 mil i bought a darwin nunez and i want to talk about this guy here for a second i bought him at 975 after the price range update early yesterday on monday morning uh, Nunez is now back down to 945 right there, but he got a price range update to 1.5 mil automatically dropped down to like, he was 895, 900k here for a, for a, a short second, rebounded back to 1.03, went back down into the 900s and then spiked again to 1.08. And I bought one about right here at about 970 on, on the way up. 
uh, because I knew that he was so rare, he was going to go up to that 1.1 mil range at some point. And I sold it at 1.097, which was basically his peak. Um, and as you look at his sales history, that was one of the peak points for this card on the day yesterday. So, you know, this card today is kind of an interesting one. You maybe see a couple sales here around 1.1 mil. Yeah, 1.1 mil right there, 1105. So this card today is going to be the premier card that everybody is going to want to pack from today's SBC that we're looking forward to. The Liga Portugal Team of the Season Guaranteed Pack. And honestly, the last couple of weeks, EA has dropped a swaps token inside of the guaranteed tots SBC for the lower level league. They're not going to do that this week because we have all the swap tokens needed for tot swaps. So what I really think you're going to see today is this uh, Liga Nos or Liga Portugal tots guaranteed is going to be dirt cheap. I think it should be an 81 or an 82 rated squad, probably going to end up being 82. And you're like, Nate, no way it's going to be that cheap. Yeah, it should be. Because why does this need to be more than an 81 or 82 rated when literally 90% of the team is less than 30,000 coins? There are four cards, maybe five cards in this team that are over 40,000 coins with the most expensive card being 900k and virtually unpackable um, from a guaranteed SVC like that. So, you know, I think that EA is going to make this one super duper cheap today. It's going to be nice to just get like a, a free TOTS card in the club per se and have a chance at packing somebody like Nunez or Rafa or Uribe if you want to. But that's going to be a super duper cheap SBC today as a part of our Tuesday content. Now, what else are we going to see today, right? We do have a new leaked SBC that I want to talk about. Uh, you guys may have seen this. And this has a little bit of potential, I'm not going to lie. But there's a downside to this one. Um, it's just the downside is we have so many left-sided players already in La Liga Tots. And it looks like we're getting another one. Of course, we have the Ansu Fati objective that like everybody has done. Not me yet. Got to get on that. We have the Vinny Jr. Very, very expensive card. We had the Dan Juma SBC. Now we're getting another left mid SBC. And it's Thomas Lamar. Stats are a prediction as tweeted here by Foot Sheriff. Uh, but this is this and Osbos are the only two leaked SBC cards that we have right now. I think that we will see one of those two today unless EA is going to drop us some sort of uh, surprise uh, from somewhere else. But this card has a lot of potential. And I want to take a look and show you why it does. He has not gotten any special cards all year, but he has a very, very meta body type and stat makeup. If we take a look at this card, he is four star skills, three star weak foot. So if EA really want to do the juice here, they could make this a five star, four star card, which would be absolutely fantastic. And if he does have stats like this, what this really looks like to me is an absolutely incredible uh, center attacking mid a little bit less pace than what you would want potentially, but really good passing, really good dribbling. He actually would have a pretty solid defensive boost because as a left mid, he's got a base 59 defense. Uh, he's got the lean body type and he is five foot seven with the finesse shot and technical dribbler traits. So he doesn't have a ton of traits, but he does have finesse shot. He does have technical dribbler. He is left footed. I think this could be a pretty fun card. I remember using his gold card earlier in the game and it was okay. Uh, but he would feel really, really good with a huge boost. So I have high hopes for this Lamar card. And if it's anything like we've seen the SBCs already, like the Isco SBC was really, really good. Hopefully they give a guy like Lamar at least a four-star, four-star and a really, really nice stat boost. Or this could be a really cool uh, item. It could also be like a left mid in the 3-5-2 with his defending being that high. Um, and what are his work rates? His work rates are high medium. So maybe they give him high, high. You can make him a great left mid or uh, on in a three, five, two or something like that. But again, the biggest downside that we have here is it's just another left sided card. So that's our newest and freshest leak. And it's really the only leak that we have right now. We don't have too many else uh, being talked about or anything being shown. We have nothing yet for league one tots. And that of course is going to be our next league of team of the season that we'll be dropping this Friday. I'm not trying to look forward to that and look ahead to that already Man, this Darwin is tempting me at 940. I can't lie. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for that, man. 949. This dude is so rare. I know we have the guarantee today. There might be a little bit of panic for it, but I'm going to risk it for the biscuit because I think that he's going to be over a million coins again this morning. So uh, that's going to be me doing a really risky move there to see if I can get him sold at around like 1.05 or something crazy like that. Maybe when I wake up tomorrow. Anyways, uh, today, market-wise as well, I just want to take a look at some prices. I know we were just talking about um, Lee Gun. There's still a lot of hype with La Liga and a lot of the TOTS cards that are out. Like I mentioned, the Joao Felix that I flipped, these cards that are more rare, we talked about last night maybe being the low point for them. 
Uh, Joao Felix last night was a million coins. Right now he's 1.06. And as we take a look at the team in general, a lot of these cards are just around the same price or slightly up, right? Modric was, you know, 780 last night. He's about 800K. Benzema is up like 200,000 coins from where he was last night, close to three mil flat at his absolute lowest. Pedri was honestly the biggest bounce on the day. He went up about 100K, maybe a little bit beyond that. Um, Acuna's had some pretty good fluctuations. Alaba was up a bit too. Militao, 414. Um, but, you know, your Vinny is still 4.8, 4.9 mil. It's just a lot of these cards were just kind of chilling. They didn't move that much on the market yesterday. I think there could be some more movements today. And the longer that we go with just average content, that's going to make guys like Felix, Benzema, Vinny, Modric, Militao, and Pedri those higher tier ones start to creep up in price a little bit. So just be careful and continue to monitor those cards and uh, their potential bounces in price if the content is, you know, continuing to be a slight bit lackluster. Now, we just looked at a Lamar leak. Would a Joao Felix go up with a Lamar card? The Lamar would have to be really insane uh, to make this Joao Felix go up and spike. Although Joao Felix is very rare, so I think there's a slight potential with that. I would not invest in it. Um, until we actually maybe see the card come out. And then would a Lamar make a Vinny Jr. drop? No, plain and simple, it shouldn't. Unless this Lamar card is like the biggest SBC upgrade in, in FIFA history. I really don't think uh, that's going to happen uh, in that you know, area of the market. I don't think there's going to be very much movement there. Now, I want to talk about other thing market-wise. A lot of your rest of the market's just kind of chilling, right? Your other out-of-pack specials, um, you know, except one area of the market would be the really elite tier. And you maybe look at the same maximum like, wow, 4.2 million coins or 4.1 is what this went for. A lot of your elite tier players, we talked about this last week, are dropping because pros are finishing their events. And when they do this, a lot of times you see a lot of undercutting, and a lot of prices dropping down. So that's why you see cards like that St. Maximin and a really top tier uh, down a lot. I don't know if they're allowed to use this brand new Jude Bellingham. He's still about 2.5 million coins. Uh, but if you take a look back and maybe even Gravenberch, Gravenberch is 850, so he's down a little bit. But especially a guy like St. Maximin, I know that some of your uh, top tier icons have been down as well, like a Prime Hullet. And I haven't looked at moments, but Prime Hullet's 2.1 mil. Uh, and he was like 2.3, 2.4 on the weekend. So this is a card that we've noticed that is down a lot as well because it seems like those pro players are, are kind of selling off. And when that happens after qualifying events, you just normally see these guys' prices um, fluctuate down pretty drastically. So he's 2.14 right now for this hole at the moment. Um, and, and he's down some. So just kind of keep an eye out for that sort of stuff. Could it be a buy for the team if you see a ton of panic selling? I do think so. Now, is St. Maximin way too cheap because he's down from uh, 5 million coins to like 4.2? Is this a buy? In my opinion, this is not a buy. Um, I think that he, his price needed a correction with all the other insane cards like Vinny um, and Benzema and all the other cards that we have had during team of the season so far. This guy's price has really not dropped. So I think it was needed. Uh, that it, you're seeing a price drop on a guy like St. Max and some of the other really high tier cards in the market that I got no problem with that whatsoever. But that's just kind of something to keep an eye out for if you like have any of those cards in your team or if you're playing with any of those players right now at the moment. So honestly, you know, a lot of the rest of the market too, as we kind of talked about, it's just chilling. A lot of those TOTS cards that we looked at just a second ago that we scrolled through with like Bundesliga team of the season or Prem TOTS, these guys just kind of continue to slide down lower, which is what we expected, right? Kimmich is under 700K. Uh, Indica is 240. Davies is 214. Uh, Premier League Tots as well. Ronaldo is 44. De Bruyne is low 700s. Van Dyke is 515. Salah is getting close to that, breaking the two mil barrier. Mane is under three mil. Um, you know, it's just a lot of these cards. The hype is still here for the brand new La Liga Tots cards, and you're not seeing the market kind of bounce back yet. And that's also the same for your La Liga, or sorry, League One out of pack special cards, right? I was looking at LR at like 580,000 coins. He's 574 right now on the um, on the PlayStation. And I know that people are starting to invest in these in these League One out of pack specials, and we're going to really monitor these prices throughout the week uh, because I also feel like a lot of people don't realize that League One is next. Uh, a lot of people are still coming into the live stream and asking me like, yo, Nate, like Syria next. What are we thinking? I'm like, whoa, whoa, hold up. EA is breaking their schedule this year and they're not doing it the same way as they always have. They're switching it up, right? This Todibo was 71K on Sunday night. 
Uh, yesterday, he did go up to like 76, but he's kind of been chilling in the low 70s range ever since. And this is a very popular card that people are starting to invest in for uh, League One. So if you invested in League One cards like I did, um, I'm just chilling for now. I'm not in, an, in a hurry to sell them. Um, I know that a lot of the hype is going to come out as we get closer and closer to the League One Tots. And even today on Tuesday, we could start to see some of the leaks for who might be in League One team of the season. And I think that's going to really start to kick off the hype for some of these cards um, that we'll see this Friday. So not to get ahead of the game and talk about League One too much yet, but just to kind of mention that really quickly so that you guys are aware uh, and maybe are watching out for that stuff as we get towards the end of the week. Of course, we'll cover it every day that we get closer to it. So that's going to be the video for today. Good luck with your guaranteed Tots packs. Good luck packing blues. I'm going to try to get this counter up to 57, 58, hopefully above 60 today. Um, it seems like most people that are packing Tots cards are getting the De Tomas. They're getting the Muniain, the Arajo, the Courtois, stuff like that. And it's not, none of the really big cards have been hit by many people yet. So we're going to try to change that today on my account. Hopefully pack something sick. That would be the goal. Um, and then uh, I have to finish weekend league as well, but it's tough out there, man. It's horrendous. I can't lie. It's horrendous out there at the moment. So that's the video for, uh, for me today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe. If you are new, it's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.